Welcome back my amazing YouTube family. It's your instructor Rashid back with an other exciting episode. Today we are diving into a super cool Power BI project where we will be managing sales targets and achievements. If you look at your screen, you will see a couple of projects that we have completed so far. Today we are going to build a complete dashboard where we can manage the sales target and the sales of the company. More you can see brand wise sales target and versus achievement in a slide. As the slide is pasted at the bottom of this dashboard. Now if I will click on sales target versus achievement it will send me to the main page where you can see we are having the sales target versus achievement for example in December month I'm having the target of 154 and achievement is 95 and the percentage of the achievement is 61 percent. Similarly I'm having region report brand report and territory report. Central target of 466 achievement is 487 that is 105 percent means 5 percent more achievement i'm having 21 cartons more in sales with reference to the target similarly i'm having these reports more i want to say this dashboard is the extension of our previous dashboard where we created the historical trend daily trend and sales report in historical trend you can track the sales for example if i will be selecting this central the whole dashboard sales will be sliced with reference to this region going back daily trend here i'm having the sales on daily basis and the sales reports so basically this was the introduction of this dashboard and now we will be moving toward building this complete dashboard so let's get started so now first of all i'm going to open power bi so first of all i'm going to press ctrl s from my keyboard more options browse this device so this is my sales target versus achievement so the next thing I have to perform import data from Excel. So this is my source file sales. I'm going to select all of these tables one by one. So I'm going to upload my these tables because I already fixed all the thing related to formatting. So my formatting is okay. So that's why I'm loading this data directly. So now my tables are uploaded successfully. Now I'm going to this table view. So first of all, I'm going to add a new table. This is my calendar. Now I will be adding some more columns, new column. This will be my year. Year is the formula and here I will be adding the date. Parenthesis close enter. New column. Month is equal to month calendar. And next column for day. Day calendar date next will be my month and year for this i will be using the formula of format calendar date and in format i need my year and month here i have to close the inverted commas and at the last one new column and here i need the day name is equal to format calendar date date and the format will be this so this is the name of the day. So finally, I have successfully added the calendar table. Now I'm going to my model view. So this is brand and brand is my fact table. Similarly, territory is my fact table, sales target and sales. These balls are my transactional tables and this is my calendar table. I will be connect this date with this date. I will be connecting this day to this day. So basically these are my transactional tables and these are my brand, territory, region and calendar. These are my fact tables. So there is one to many relationship. As you can see here, this is showing one and on this side it is showing static. Static mean many. So my data modeling part is done and if you want to learn one to many relationship or you want to learn about data modeling, then you must watch this video. As you can see on your screen or you can click on the right side of this video. So now I'm going back here i will be adding my my years or calculations so i will be adding under home this is inter data these are my calculations load i'm adding new my year so i will be typing sum x and sum x required the name of the table so my columns are in sales table so here i will be typing sales and in sales i want to add the retail column and the wholesale column this holds it. So these are my sales. Similarly, I will be calculating my 
targets is equal to sum x and my target fields are in my sales target table so here i am selecting sales target and in sales target i have to add the retail target plus wholesale target parenthesis close enter so this is my target and i will make the decimal to one now i have to calculate my sales target versus achievement percentage so here i will be dividing sales by target and i will be selecting this percentage and this decimal must be zero press enter next i will be calculating the difference of cartons so plus or minus cartons is equal to so here i will be typing target minus sales the decimal must be one so my calculations are completed now i will be moving toward building my dashboard so the name of the sheet will be sales target achievement first of all i'm going to insert this line and clustered column chart so now i will be visiting my calendar and from calendar i will be selecting my month to x axis i need my target to y axis sales to y axis this achievement i need to place it in line y axis format your visual firstly i will be visiting this title and i will be making this center align so now i'm visiting this view section and view section i will be selecting this color blind safe so now i'm selecting my this chart and from here this journal section and from journal i will be visiting this title section i will making background color to black and the text color to white and make it okay now i'm going to this visual from visual i'm selecting this data labels i'm making on this data labels so from here i will be selecting my target and the background color of the target will be this color and value is here and make it white so now i will be selecting this sales section so i will be replacing this target to sale and the background color make it same color as that bar having the value white make it bold from sales i will be selecting my this achievement and the background color of this achievement will be this same color and the value must be white and make it bold so now this is looking cool from marker i make it on again i'm going to journal and from effect i'm making on this shadow and from here i'm selecting inside now i'm going to insert a table this is my table now i will be selecting first of all i'm selecting my region and then i'm visiting my this calculation target sales achievement and the number of cartons format your visual values making them area and size to 14 making them bold totals making them bold column headers making them bold i'm selecting my this table and i'm going to title making it on so this is my region wise sales target versus achievement now i'm making this center align area 14 bold background color to black and text color to white so now i'm going to effect and from effect i will be visiting this shadow and make it inside so again i'm copying and pasting it and here i will replace this region with my territory again copying pasting it and here i will replace this territory with my brands and i'm replacing the title this is my brand and this is my territory i'm visiting insert and i'm selecting this shape again i'm selecting my this slicer and from calendar i will be selecting from calendar i will be selecting year slicer setting and from slicer setting option i will be selecting drop down and now i'm visiting this values and the background of the values will be black the value to white so the font color will be white and the background will be black
So this is my slicer header and the font color of the slicer header will be white. I'm making this bold, making it Arial. Now I'm visiting this journal effect from effect. I'm, I'm making on the shadow and the shadow will be white and from here I will make it inside. So this is looking like this. Now I'm copying pasting it again. This is my month. I'm copying pasting it again. This is my region. Copying pasting again. This is my territory. Copying pasting it again and this is my brand. So I can slice all of my dashboard with the help of these slices. For example, if I will be selecting central, it will slice the whole dashboard with reference to this specific region. Even I can select Sadran. So now the data is shown as per this region. So now I will be selecting this card. And here I will be pasting my target and i will disable this category label from journal i will be selecting title making it on this is my target center align background color to black text color to white making it arial making bold and the call out value will be 20 making it bold and the color will be white and at the end I will be visiting effect with shadow, shadow will be white. Again I am copying and pasting it. This will be my, this is my target. So this will be my sales. And at the last, this is my achievement. So I will replace this with achievement. I will be selecting this one and from here I will be replacing the title from target to this is my sales and this title will be my percentage so now i will be selecting my this table and i will be adding some conditional formatting here to make it more beautiful so after selection here i will be visiting this visual under visual cell element and from here i will be selecting this percentage achievement on percentage achievement i want to implement the data bars so similarly i will be selecting this one and data bar similarly selecting this one and data bar and from here i will sorting it from largest to smallest similarly i will sorting this and similarly sorting basically this region having the most achievement similarly these territories and these brands having the major achievement or more achievement with reference to sales so at the last i'm going to this insert from shape I will be selecting this one style making this white so finally this is ready and now I will be adding one more sheet with the name of home so now first of all I'm visiting my this sales target versus achievement and I'm selecting my these target sales and achievement copying this and I'm pasting it here making the value color to black so now I'm visiting my this format your report page canvas background and I'm selecting this image and I will be making this 90% I'm selecting all of my these cards journal from journal effect visual borders I'm making on and will be selecting this color and I will be replacing the shadow color to this one. So now I'm going to insert and I'm adding one shape here. I'm making on its text this is my sales target versus achievement making it bold arial and 32 I think 26 will be fine and now at the end I'm going to get more visuals from here I will be searching crawler add so now I'm adding this crawler so here I will be pasting my target and my sales with reference to my brands. So now this is showing me Rio is my brand and the target was 489.6 and sale was 549.2. Similarly Peanut having the target of 378 and sales 355.7. So now at the end I'm going to my this view and from here I will be selecting this bookmark and I'm adding the bookmark this bookmark as home. 
this home is saved in this bookmark and similarly i am visiting my this sales target achievement and i am adding one bookmark with the name of same this sheet i am selecting this button and from here action to bookmark which bookmark home bookmark save it now when i will click on it it will send me to the home page similarly i am selecting this one and on bookmark which bookmark this one says target versus achievement now if i will click on it it will send me to this sheet so now at the end i have to publish this on my workspace so i will press publish okay got it at the end under calculation you need to select this percentage achievement and here you need to correct this formula because we have to divide sales with targets so now this percentage is looking correct when you will publish your dashboard under home this publish then you need to visit this app.powerbi.com and here i am visiting my this home section under home you can see this is my sales target versus achievement uh, this is the main page and if i will click on this sales target versus achievement it will send me to the main dashboard page so thank you so much for your time and i will see you in the next episode of this playlist where we are creating dashboards in power bi